Men's two and freestyle for the S4 class. A great heat swim this morning from Joe Gaison to be the fastest qualifier ahead of the Paralympic champion Gustavo Sanchez Martinez, who goes in lane three. Well, this event, a bit of a changing of the guard. Richard Oribe, gold medalist in Beijing, silver medalist in London, but here. In this morning's heat swim, Paul, only good enough for lane number one. And it was relatively comfortable qualification for most of these swimmers today. Nelson Lopez there, he's in the outside lane in lane number eight. He's one of the experienced campaigners along with this man, Richard Oribe. He goes in lane number one. He is the world record holder in this event set that you said Giles back in Beijing in 2008 16 Paralympic medals to his name Darko Duric he had a great championships in Montreal two years ago won a couple of titles and we won the Paralympic title was the Mexican 21 year old now Gustavo Sanchez Martinez and next to him in the middle for the two teenagers Joe Gisson what a swim he has the Korean in lane four and Roman Zadanov, the 17 year old from Russia in lane five. You said it was the changing of the guard, Giles. We've got the three youngsters in the middle and the more experienced men on the outside now. Well, and there's proof point, David Smith name. A man who was silver medalist in Beijing. And in lane number eight, Nelson Lopez. I don't think we're going to see really much from him. He's done well to make the final here. But really, this race, all about those centre lanes. Roman Stanov, he had a superb, superb final 50 in the heats in this race. That is lane number one, Richard Oribe. Can he spring a surprise from the outside lane? And Smetanin do something from lane number seven. Over 20 Paralympic medals between those two experienced campaigners. Is it time for the youngsters here in Glasgow? Take your marks. Well, a combination of different start styles there. Now, we've just seen S3. Now, this is S4, where swimmers have slightly more movement. You saw that some started. In fact, one extra started on the blocks this time. Most started in the water, but none of the field were held by their coaches onto the touchpad, which is quite interesting. It's being taken out now in the centre lane. Looking very, very good indeed in lane number three, Sanchez Martinez. Nice and smooth, his hand comes over. Very close with Joe Gisong. And he's the Korean who goes over the wall first in 39.83. Yeah, this is what watch we saw this morning. Joe Gisong just went out pretty hard. Qualification time 302.11. Sanchez Martin is a more experienced man, just as I said, just 21 years of age. And he is the reigning champion, the reigning world champion, the reigning Paralympic champion. So he won't want to be beaten by this young man from Korea. The only the major games that the Korean swimmer has gone before. He competed in the Asian Games last year. Doesn't really have any pedigree on the world stage, but Joe Gisson has got a lead at the moment in 123.45. That is a very, very fast 100 there for Joe Gisong of Korea. Well, right there in the center of your screen. Look at that, the head position, very, very good. He struggles when he comes to the breathing stroke, has to kind of pull his head back and lift it out of the water to really get it to clear the water. Shouldn't really have to do that. If you breathe and turn your head, it ends up in a pocket and you can pull air cleanly out of that. But it doesn't really seem to be causing him any problem. Very, very minor movement from the legs. 
and again, fantastically high hip position. Hits the wall, he's a bit square, but comes around nice and cleanly as he makes his way back down the pool. You can see there, as he's breathing towards us now, and he dunks his head under, and that's part of the reason that he's doing that, is that's what's lifting his hips up. The whole body's like a seesaw. If you push your head down, it lifts your hips up. But his hand position, particularly for an S4 pool, as it enters the water, look at that, there's very little air around the, around the front of the stroke. Hands going in the water nice and cleanly, locking in the water, allowing him to transfer that strength of the shoulders into the motion. Well, it's certainly very, very effective. The Korean swimmer here, the world record holder, is in lane one. The world record stands at 255.81. It's going to be very close. It's just outside, but it's the gold medal performance from Joe Hee-Song of Korea. He wins the Korean gold. It's Sedanov in second position. Gustavo Sanchez Martinez paid for that early pace, but he gets in for the bronze medal. But it is 256.23. Jogi Song. Oh, yes. He told you he was going to do that in the heats. He set out his stall and he came back really strongly. Just half a second outside the world record. I thought it was going to go there. It did. Well, it was a massive personal best for him. It really, really was. Gustavo Martinez, the former champion now, the bronze medalist here. And there we have final swimmer coming in. It's Nelson Lopez. The only one, I think, swimming the backstroke in this one. Nelson Lopez, backstroke medalist in the Europeans last year. And he is the final swimmer to finish in 3.55.45. But a great performance by Jogi Song of Korea. Well, he was nice and smooth in the heat. He was nice and smooth in the final. Here he is coming into the final five metres now. And those hands come over and they're very wide, but he manages to pull them back to a nice clean position. He breaks good body position, shouldn't have really done that. It could have possibly shaved a bit more time if we'd have kept that head down. Kind of glided into the wall there, but he looks at the clock. And that is a very good time indeed. Very good time indeed. Sanchez Martinez not over the wound to uh, to be celebrating with him, but uh, kind of goes along with it. He tried to uh, go out with uh, Joji Gisong. Joe Gisong from Korea wins the world title in 256.23, ahead of Russia's Roman Zidanov and Mexico's Gustavo Sanchez Martinez.